Good day everyone, Jason Mumal filling in for Chuck Freebie. Today is Monday, March 14th, and here is what's happening around the world. Dramatic video released today shows the moment the tsunami struck Japan, flattening virtually everything in its path. 10,000 people still have not been heard from since the tsunami hit last Friday. Miyagi, with a population of 2.3 million, was one of the hardest hit areas. A port city of over 20,000 people in Iwadi Prefecture was virtually wiped out by the tsunami. Rescuers now face the difficult task of searching for survivors in the debris. However, rescuers did find a handful of survivors in other parts of the province. The estimated death toll has climbed past 10,000. The Prime Minister said it was the worst crisis in Japan since World War II. The second hydrogen explosion in three days rocked a Japanese nuclear plant today, sending a massive column of smoke into the air and wounding 11 workers. The explosion at the plant's unit number three, which authorities have frantically been trying to cool following a system failure in the wake of the earthquake and tsunami, triggered an order of hundreds of people to stay indoors. Tokyo Electric Power Company said radiation levels are significantly under the level at which nuclear facilities must file a report. The blast follows a similar explosion on Saturday that took place at the plant's unit number one station, which injured four workers and caused mass evacuations. The Tokyo stock market plunged today, its first business day after the disaster, which caused tens of billions of dollars in damage. Oil prices dropped to near 99 U.S. dollars a barrel after the disaster threatened to send the world's third largest economy into recession, crimping demand for crude. The benchmark Nikkei 225 stock average dived 6.18 percent, wiping out gains made in 2011 while hitting its lowest level in four months. Worries about the economic impact of Friday's disaster included massive power shortages that could disrupt factories, triggered a broad sell-off that hit all sectors. Panic buying, commuter chaos, and fears of nuclear contamination are rattling Tokyo residents in the wake of the disaster. Long lines formed at railway stations, shops, and gas stations. At a Tokyo train station, commuters lined up patiently to catch express trains. Long lines snaked from other stations after some lines were shut amid power cuts. With ports and road links disrupted, fears of food shortages also led to a rush on shops and supermarkets. People formed long lines to buy fresh vegetables amid fears they could soon run out. While most gas stations in Tokyo still have fuel, long lines of cars are formed outside as drivers rush to fill their tanks.